An update tonight on the 18-year-old Saudi woman who fled to Thailand over the weekend, fearing for her life, leaving behind what she describes as her abusive family. Now, Canada was among the countries she'd reached out to on social media for asylum. Now it appears Australia is considering taking her in as a refugee. My name is Rahaf, uh, and I'm still in the room. Rahaf Mohammed Alkanoun's post bringing international attention to her plight after she barricaded herself inside a Thai airport hotel room. I have no choice. Until officials in Bangkok reversed their decision that denied her entry. She was then permitted to enter Thailand and taken to a safe location with the United Nations Refugee Agency. Today, Kanoon posted a photo of herself saying, I'm happy, on her Twitter page that's gained more than 100,000 followers in just days as she waits to learn where she could be headed next. Nobody wants to see a young girl in distress. Australia's Home Affairs Department says it will consider this case, treating it as it would any referral from the United Nations Refugee Agency. We'll work with the UN, but there is no special treatment in this case. The case will be assessed uh, by the United Nations and uh, that's, it doesn't therefore make it different to any other case uh, of that nature. Kanoon's online plea for asylum drawing attention to Saudi Arabia's strict social policies that advocates say put women at risk, potentially trapping them in abusive situations, among the rules requiring women to have a male guardian to travel. I want to leave you with one of the latest messages posted by Kanoon on her Twitter page. She says, don't let anyone break your wings. You're free. Fight and get your rights.